Hi there Power Ranger fans, it's time for another very special Power Rangers Legacy Toy Review with me, Admin Gold King Ranger from the Gold King Ranger team. In this video we will be reviewing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Red Ranger Helmet. Oh wow, this box is massive. I've picked up this from MCM London Comic Con on the 29th of October and it was literally one of the items that I must have. It was one of those must-have items of that day, so I was so glad I managed to get this. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to have a look at the box, and then we're going to take a look at what's inside. So, here we go. So, first up, the helmet box is quite big. As you can see, it's got some nice writing at the top. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, Bandai, 15+, plus because this is a collector's item. Legacy. Red Ranger helmet and it says here premium premium display stand included which we'll get to have a look at that shortly on the side of the box you can see the Red Ranger helmet and this nice picture of all five Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the story right here the five ordinary teenagers have been chosen to save the world from Rita Repulsa and her evil space aliens using special Pat Morphers special power morphers, the teens call up on the spirits of the ancient dinosaurs to transform into the incredible Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and summon their mighty power zords. Would have been dino zords, but never mind. When all else fails, the power zords join together to form high-tech megazords. Will they be strong enough to save us from Rita's destruction? And of course we have it in French. I can't read French to be honest and there's Spanish as well which is pretty cool. On the back it shows you this one size fits most 21 inch to 23 inch show accurate reproduction right here and of course it's also in French and Spanish as well premium stand included again so basically this is what you get I'm imagining so the helmet and the stand on the back Red Ranger Jason so I have another picture of the helmet a nice, another nice picture of the Red Ranger here and here a 17 year old black belt in karate and the leader of the team he is serious about his martial arts and spends much of his time working out new moves and perfecting old ones as a power ranger J jason draws his power from the tyrannosaurus rex his weapon is the power sword and he also pilots the meg sword when it is fully assembled and that's red ranger jason one of my favorite characters and on the top of the box a nice full image of the Red Ranger along with the logo on the top. Ooh, let me just put that there so you can have a look. So this logo and the Red Ranger looks amazing. <laughs> do, 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 trying to find my way around now. <laughs> okay, okay. So now that we've had a look at the box itself, we're going to open it up and see what's inside. So cool. I do love this thing and it's very nice that we get another legacy red ranger item and what a perfect choice a power ranger helmet you can actually wear we'll get to that in a minute but first of all we're going to have a look at the contents and so on so first of all we have the helmet itself we also have a special stand and what's this it's a hair net <laughs> you can't wear power ranger helmets unless your hair is all covered unless of course you have no hair then you're pretty much safe <laughs> anyways so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the helmet and we're going to do a little comparison towards th this helmet and my cosplay red ranger helmet so what we're going to do is look at the helmet and then we'll do the comparison and look at the other two items as well so first up Let's have a look at this helmet. Well, I'm going to just move these aside. We'll look at those in a bit. Now, the helmet itself is plastic. The helmet is a, quite a strong plastic, as you can see. 
It has different sorts of clips on the side. As you can see, these simply just open when you press down on them. Got some, but still, very nice detail, especially around the eyes and the teeth. The nose and the all the dents all around the helmet. There's some little holes just slightly around the eye if you look carefully. You see? Down in down in here. So it's some like a little hole. And that's another way of breathing. And there's also some, some holes down in the visor. Again, for breathing purposes, which is excellent. Because as you can see down here, there are no air holes. Plain red at the back and at the top. Silver teeth, I like that. Now inside, what we're going to do is going to open up by simply just pressing here and, and here. And as you can see, the inside of the helmet is a little different. It's a lot different than my usual helmet because we have a special little section here which is adjustable. It's like a special belt that goes around your head and you simply just have to unplug this part, this part here, the back, and then there's numbers too on each dot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you just simply put it where it adjusts your head. So for me, I'm a three. Obviously, the, as I said before, the helmet is wearable. So that means I'm going to have to try it on. Well, let's just get me set up and then. Now, as you can see, this is a size comparison between the Legacy Red Ranger helmet and a normal cosplay helmet. So this is my Red Ranger helmet that I use for when I do cosplaying. As you can see, it's got a shiny gloss to it. But this one doesn't. It's very big in size, basically, so then a lot of people can fit this helmet. This is basically fit to, to fit my head. So you can see basically the difference between the two helmets. Lighter red, darker red. No holes in the eyes, but there is air holes f f to breathe and very shiny, glossy sort of finish to it. I think if this helmet had that sort of same short, sort of shiny glass, I think that would have made it like completely perfect. But then again, it's still a really brilliant helmet and I do love it. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm all ranged up. So I'm going to show you how to put on the helmet and what does the helmet look like in full range of cosplay? Well, first thing you've got to do is you take the hair net piece like this and then you just put it over your head like this, making sure that you cover everything. So over your ears and over your hair, because basically this will protect your head from getting like, <laughs> just in case of the tightness of the helmet and, you know, in case you catch your ears on the sides of the helmet. So now time to put it on. So we're going to take the clips and pull it slightly, so just so it separates. And then, now that's ready, we're gonna put it over. I don't know if you'll be able to still hear me, but let's see. So you put this. Oop, thank you, my assistant. And that one. So you clip it and then it all pushed in no it's not quite yeah. at the top there there you go so it looks like this so I can breathe so I can breathe I can see out so I can look forward and side to side so I see about that much on the helmet if that makes sense now obviously as you can see Looks pretty awesome, don't you think? Oh 
making it all can be tricky, but after a little practice, ooh, you get the hang of it. So let's take this hair net off. Thank you. And put this back together. So, as you can see, it's a pretty amazing helmet. It looks great on cosplay. So now's the time is to debrief this review and finish this up. Red Ranger helmet. So now this is the stand it comes with. And as you can see down here, it says Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, which is pretty cool. And then what we're gonna do is pop that there. You're gonna take your helmet and then you simply just place it very carefully on the top, just like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust it a bit more. That's better. It looks just, it looks great just like that, doesn't it? So I'm just gonna turn it a bit. Also, when you, one little tip, when you finish wearing your helmet and you clip it, you have to press it like that. So it all in lines and connects together again. Because there's little connectors in there to help you connect it. So it looks pretty cool. I really like it on the stand like that. It makes it really, I mean, this is how I display it in my room. It's just so perfect. Would I be wearing this for cosplaying? Um, I haven't really given it any thought yet. But I do quite like my normal Red Ranger helmet. But there you go. Anyway, so yeah that's it for this review um i hope you enjoyed watching this review just as i had a much fun making it now of course some of you have been asking us already gold king ranger please tell us where can we get the legacy red ranger helmet well we can tell you that a1 toys now a1 toys will have will be selling the legacy red range helmets this month in november so you can be sure to get yourself over to a1 toys and i believe if the pre they're still doing pre-orders for this and the legacy ninja megzord which we will be reviewing on the channel as well so be sure to check that out so for now i'd just like to say thank you for watching um see you next time and yeah and that's it See you next time, Ranger fans. Go, go, Power Rangers! You mighty Morphin Power Rangers! Hey there, Power Ranger fans. You've been watching a Gold King Ranger video produced by me and the Gold King Ranger team. Be sure to like, comment and share this video and check out all our other videos as well by clicking more videos here. Also remember to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all our upcoming Power Ranger toy reviews, event videos and also other amazing more phenomenal videos as well. May the power protect you, it's morphin time!